Hi <laughs> everybody, welcome back to my channel. That was for, that was for that nasty person who left me a nasty comment the other day on my channel. Hi uh, everybody, welcome back to my channel. I got to stand in front of the ring light because I'm filming this, it's on the evening this time and we lose light actually. It's quarter to seven and we lose, we're, it's night time already. Uh, so I have to put my ring light on, which I don't like to use because it's in my face. So Primark has landed a bit of Christmas. Yes, I did say a bit. Um, they've started to put it out. So I thought I'm going to just start filming uh, what they've put out. Uh, it's only about 10, 10, 11 minutes anyway. Um, video. It's not the biggest video in the world. So, um, but I thought I'd show you what Primark have started to put out. So they haven't put any decks out yet. It's more like ornamental kind of stuff. Um, so I will keep an eye out. I do like Primark. I do because I, I think they've got some last year had some great little bits. So um, I will keep checking. So if you're new to my channel and you like this kind of content, um, definitely sort of hit my subscribe button because I do throw a lot of this content out there. Um, and welcome and thank you to all the subscribers so far on my channel. If you didn't watch the last video, it was a Poundland Autumn and I've whacked in a giveaway for that one. I'm not going to advertise a giveaway. I'm not going to announce the winner of that giveaway on this video. I'm going to do it on the next one, which is going to be a John Lewis kind of because they've kind of started to put Christmas stuff out as well I've never been in there and someone wrote a comment the other day about checking out the prices so I went in I was a bit shocked uh so if you um that will go up I think the weekend I'm not sure but I'll try and announce the giveaway of that Poundland or um giveaway in uh the John Lewis one which will be coming up probably after this one so yeah if you like that kind of uh if you like this kind of content make sure you hit my subscribe button guys you know what's happened with this bloody house of purchasing purchasing so we're first time buyers um it's been about a month now since the offer got accepted so you don't hear anything obviously and then today the estate agent she said that i've not filled out any of the uh of my information on uploaded my bank statements for i and my id i said hey, i had to did it about three weeks ago and she said, you haven't. So anyway, I got on contact with solicitors. Um, and they said, yeah, we've got it, blah, blah, blah. And then they said, well, we haven't received anything from the estate agency. So uh, I found the estate agency. And I think you're getting on with me for not doing something. And apparently you haven't been doing it either. And she said, what is your estate agent? I said, it's called Peter Ross. And they said, we thought you was with someone else. So everything, guys, contracts have been drawn. Everything now is back to square one. So now we have to start again in a way. Hopefully they've got things prepared and stuff, but it is so bloody stressful buying a house. We thought, oh, we might be in, you know, um, end of October, November. If we have to move before Christmas, I'm going to be absolutely gutted. But I'm not going to ramble on. I've just thought I'd give you a little bit of an update on our house. Thanks for the lovely comments anyway. I know I'm just uh, changing subject subjects now. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to ramble on everyone. I'm going to go and have a nice bath. Um, thanks for watching this video. If you want to, if you've if you've watched it, thanks for liking, and thank you for commenting, and thank you for subscribing. So um, anyway, guys, it's three minute forty seconds already in. So I'm gonna go now. <laughs> Catch you in the next video, God. <laughs> <laughs> Okey pokey, red house dokey. <laughs> so, right, so this lovely little ceramic, let's call it ceramic. I don't know if it is ceramic. £7 for this lovely little red looking festive townhouse. That obviously lights up. They've got these tall gold, obviously it's supposed to be replicant a Christmas tree um, ornament for, let's say, £5. What I like about Primark, the prices are easy to read. Um, the little star on. Um, they had this little gonk sitting on the side for four pound fifty in grey. A few little sequins on his hat as well. Imagine him sat at the end of the fireplace. 
Um, and then we've got, what else have we got over here? They had this little ornament as well. It's obviously a, a tree. Um, it had these little gold dots on. And it was for £4. I do think Primark will smash it eventually. Um, so this is basically the stuff they've just put out at the moment. And then they've got this pink little Christmas tree um, that obviously lights up. Uh, how much are you? £4.50. And then round corner, no, down below. They've got these. Last year they had these really nice similar trees. I like how they, they look very rustic if you know what i mean they've got the, that kind of uh snowy rustic look and they these ones were five pounds obviously just uh for decoration like ornamental and this is for a obviously like a candle um and that was only two pound fifty for that one like i said they i think they will smash it out the bag this is the basic little bits they've started to put out so three pound does that say three pound for that large black um Ball ball. That was pretty much the only ball ball they had in store um, at the moment. Um, I'm not feeling this. It was just some sort of random um, deck. Does that say two quid? It's not bad for two quid. It's obviously only small with the little berries on. Um, and then they had these drunken, <laughs> not really, um, goldy, now they were really heavy, gold metal um, reindeers for a fiver. Uh, they're only small, but for a fiver, I think because of how heavy they were, these were a bit random. Um, I think was that one pound fifty for these little wooden trees. I, yeah, one fifty. I don't think they're gonna do well. I don't know. It just depends on people that do crafts and stuff. These are all right. Um, I don't know what you'd do with them for a little free pack of Christmas trees. You'll put them in the car on your desk. Two pound fifty for those. A little free pack. These are cute. They had these little Father Christmas napkins. 24 little festive napkins for... I want to try to show you the price. Then they had the little gingerbread man as well. So £1.50 each, guys and girls. Uh, then at the bottom, they had the tea towels out. I like this. This was only like... It was a two pack, but it was uh, £2.50. I like the uh, berry, kind of the holly berry look on them. They're very oldy-woldy, aren't they? I like that. But vintage. And then these ones, obviously I couldn't really show you the picture. Obviously £2.50 for them ones as well. And then these are really nice. that You couldn't get them out of the bag because this is how they're, they're, they're packaged. And they're like, you just hang them on the tree. I think you get six of them. Um... They're quite cute, actually. They would not only decorate your tree, so £6 for six. I think that's what it's supposed to look like. Um, but they're going to make your tree stand out as well. They had this long bit of garland, shall I call it, um, with this big green bow on. How much were you? Did I show you the price with the little pine cones? I think I'll show you a red one in a bit. Uh, then they had these... Um, Two pack of bows in that very nice uh, green for two pound, and then at the moment they've only got this wreath out. Uh, it's a lovely wreath actually. It's quite full at bottom, um, and it were seven pounds. So now round corner they've got the red section. Um, so they had these. These are lovely. If you could, you could even display these on the table, couldn't you, as a centerpiece? So they are, guys and girls, ten pounds, as well as the green ones I've just shown you. But they're very full. They're very long and they're very thick. Um, and then they had the red berry version <coughs> of those six um, six pound. Um, I don't know what you do with them. Hang them on tree, I guess. Then they had these red satiny kind of bows. For two pounds, and then they had these black ones as well. They didn't have anything black. These random black bows are just at the end of the um, that little red section there. So two quid for them, and then they've got the berry version, the red um, reef. I do like them actually. They look very classy. You could easily put that on your front door. Seven pound for that one as well. And then these were really clever. I liked how they put the candy cane as the handle. 
they are such that you could have these by the fireplace, couldn't you? And they were only, they're not expensive, seven quid, I think, at the front. Seven quid for them. You could do all sorts in there, couldn't you? Um, and then they had this little f uh, fro for six quid. I like it with a little hot, uh, fluffy holly leaves on. I think they will smash it this year. They smashed it last year, especially their cushions. I love their cushions. Uh, so six quid for that. And then they had this little reindeer version of a basket. Uh, like I say, you could do all sorts with this. This was a bit cheaper. This was £6 for that one. Um, I'd have that by the fire with a, bit, a few logs in. Um, this, they had the Christmas tree platter. Let's call it a platter tray. I think it was a bit pricey. £7. I'm sure they're a lot cheaper in B&M, like three fifty, um, even one beyond. They're about two quid. Uh, these were a bit different. I don't know if I sent them last year. It's a little free pack of Christmas trees. What would you do? Would you put them on your desk? Uh, and these were six pounds. Would you put them on your window ledge? I liked them. I actually did like them. Um, then they had the house. I've just shown you that. Now they had this, but it's split into two, so I don't get. The bottom half, why it's half for four quid. I don't know if you'd put two tea light candles in them. I'm not sure. Um, these mugs were lovely. They was the, uh, I like the shininess on them. They were only, yeah, three quid for the snowman mug. I think they will smash it on there. These were nice as well. I need one of these uh, oven gloves. And I like the gingerbread design. And you was... £2.50 for the oven glove. Should have got that. Uh, now, this is a vase um, or tree vase, whatever you want to... £4.50 for this cat or plant, sorry. Like a plant pot. Um, obviously, you'll put a tree in it, a real little tree. They had this nice little... Uh, it's small throw, but it was very thick. I don't think it's as small as it says it is. £14. And a lovely colour as well. So they've obviously put it with the Christmas section. And then they've got these little bears, bear mugs in the Christmas section for £3. Well, I'm not really a fan of them. I prefer the snowman mug. Uh, and then they've got these taller gonks. I like the red ones. And they're a lot larger. You could have easily put that. I'll show you in a sec because there's another one. So £5 for these large gonks. Let me see, I'll show you. I'll show you in a sec. So they've got these little penguin nibble trays as well for three quid. Three fifty, sorry. So three fifty for them ones. Uh, this is the only kind of diffusers. Uh, they had no candles yet. They do a great section of candles. Um so in that scent, how much was it? Quid. I mean, if you've got any secret Santas coming, I always say that. See, these little green ones were cute with those red ones. Uh, so, these little green gonks for £1.50. See, gonks aren't my kind of thing, but I can see why people do buy them. This was a bit random as well, everyone. It was just a car. I, I think it's obviously just ornament based, uh, with a little tree on top. And it was quite how um, much? £7 for that. Uh, I'm not going to say it's expensive because it's not, but... Uh, then you've got the uh, silver versions of those reindeers, £5. And like I say, they are quite heavy. Um, and then you've got this little lovely greenhouse. Guys, there's not much of that yet, as of yet. Um, obviously, lights up. It's got that really nice sanding feel, feel to it. Um, but I will keep checking what they've got in so they haven't got much at the moment this is pretty much all they had now uh nutcracker napkins for one pound fifty and then they had this last but not least this tall basket with all the little foliage bits in with the frosty berry so yeah stay subscribed if you obviously want to see more content or subscribe sorry not stay subscribed uh and that was 12 pound for that um i will see you guys in the week in this weekend bye bye everyone bye bye